Hi, I'm Revant. This is part 10 of a web services video series. In this session, we will discuss authentication in web service. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are providing security to web service, how to do authentication in web service, import system.web.services.protocol.soap header namespace, using database for authentication of user credentials. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 7, part 8 and part 9 of this video series, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. Authentication in web service. Input system.web.services.protocols.soap header namespace. In order to authenticate the service, we need to import this namespace to the class file and look at the header. SOAP header contains username and the password that we are passing in the SOAP header and the body contains method which is getting the response. Let's we look in action how to do authentication in web service. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's click on file, new, select a website, select a template has Visual C Sharp and .NET Framework 4.5. Select ASP.NET empty website and rename the project as Authentication in Web Service. Let's click on OK button. Once the project is created, right click on the project, click on add new item, select web services, rename the service as authentication and the extension is .asmx click on add button that will create the service this is a web service let's delete this class file right click on the app underscore code folder and click on add add new item Select a class file and rename the class file as auth user. Click on add button. So, in order to do authentication, we need to import the namespace like system. dot web dot services dot protocols dot soap header let's remove these comments let's remove this auto generated constructor for this class object let's create two properties like username and the password write prob and uh, click on tab key to twice string username string password
let's create one method that method will check whether the user is valid or invalid let's write public boolean is valid let's write int count equal to 0 if you can use database connection to check the user details valid or not if user details found this this boolean is when we call this is valid method it returns true or false let's write read the connection string from the web.config like string config equal to configuration manager let's click this configuration manager exists in using system dot configuration namespace let's click on that it will generate system dot config namespace dot connection string let's give as empty for now once we create we will give the proper name here before writing the connection to the database let's create the database table let's flip to sql server right click on the databases create click on this new database give the database name click on ok button that will create the database for us expand this expand tables right click on tables click on new table give the column name has id this is integer data type remove hello nulls right click on this id set primary key and identity specifications as yes id will automatically create sequence of values another column has username this is varchar of 50 and password varchar of 50 let's click on save button give the table name as tbl click on ok button click on right click on this table click on refresh button so it has created the table for us so let's give the user has Ravant so ID will be automatically generated no need to give the ID so username and the password has been created with Ravant now let's flip to Visual Studio create a connection for this uh, database click on this web.config let's write connection string click add my con
and the connection string equal to giving the connection string click on view click on server explorer right click on this data connection add connection select microsoft sql server continue give the server name has dot dot means local server give username and password click on database that we have created test connection so test connection succeeded so click on ok button now right click on this uh, database click on properties this will generate connection string for us copy this and paste here queue the and the provider name is sql client that's it save copy this mycon let's flip to class paste it here now write a connection to the database to consume the time i have already written the code this is the code Co just copy and paste it here this sql connection present in system dot data dot sql means sql client namespace this code is very straightforward i'm passing this configuration which is reading the connection from the web dot config and uh, in sql command i'm passing the select statement like select star from the table that we have created here I'm passing the username and the password for this table. So this this is a command which opens the connection to the database. This will get the count has a one one or zero. If the user exists, the value will be one. If the user does not exist, it will be less than one. and this will close the connection to the database if the count is greater than 0 it will return the value has true or else it will return false now right click on this app_code folder add new item select the class file and rename the class file as my service click on add button remove this comments and decorate this uh, class file has web service press control dot so this web service exist in a system dot web dot services namespace let's click on this now now let's call public authenticate user has a user now let's create one method when we call that method with valid username and password it should return it should return the username what we have passed let's create public string like a hello world
if check if user not equal to null check if user dot he is valid then we have to return if the user is not valid else we have to return invalid user details the same thing here else we have to return provide please provide user details click on save and uh, decorate this method with soap header this exists in system.web.services.protocols let's click on that and pass the input parameters as this one user comma required equal to true to expose this method we have to decorate with web method that's it let's build the solution so could not create a type authentication so we need to write the class file has my service dot cs and the class is my service let's save this rebuild the solution once again so rebuild all succeeded now right click on this authentication dot esmx click on view in a browser hello world link when we click on this hello world link look at this we have only invoke button we didn't have input parameters or anything when we when we click on this invoke button it shows the message like a please provide user details so in the browser we cannot test the application so we didn't have your username and the password text boxes let's we look at this soap envelope when we look at this here the soap header takes the authentication user like a username and the password in the input parameters input like a string and the body we are calling the hello world method when we call that method we get the response hello world response in the form of string in the next part we will continue how to consume this authentication web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you